It won't surprise you to know that I am not at all sporting, no interest in sport at all. And a few weeks ago, I did a blog here on Kermod Uncut about a film I'd just seen, Close to the Edge, also known as TT3D, which is a documentary about the Manx motorcycle race. Uh, well, I'm kind of connected with the Isle of Man, that's where my family's from, but I have no interest in motorcycle racing at all. But I really liked the documentary. I saw it in 2D, I didn't need 3D, because the dimensionality for me was all to do with the characters, the people, the personalities, the human relationships. And I thought that in the end, that film ended up asking some quite profound questions about somebody's right to risk their life, to do something that they may consider very important, but others may consider trivial. Many of you replied to the blog saying, well, look, if you thought that was an interesting film, you need to see Senna, which had caused a bit of a stir at Sundance. It had won a major audience award, and it's a documentary about the life and times of Ayrton Senna, the Formula One race, and his very, very fractious relationship with Alain Prost, with whom he was both a partner and a rival. Well, I've now seen Senna, and I understand exactly why it was that you're all so excited about it. It's a terrific piece of work. Once again, I have no interest in Formula One racing at all. Once, the Radio 5 show went to a Formula One race. I, I've never seen so much money in one place in my entire life, and I remember going to the side of the track to see the cars go by. You could barely see them. It's just like, boom! and I didn't understand the sport at all. In fact, I ended up having a conversation with Jensen Button, who turned out to be a very nice guy, although my primary memory of that conversation was I was asking him about one of the Shrek sequels, and he said that he hadn't liked it because he couldn't understand any film in which somebody chooses to be ugly, because he said, why would anyone choose to be ugly? And that was kind of the point at which we ran out of things to say to each other. But the thing with Senna is that just like Closer to the Edge, TT3D, what it does is it takes the personalities, it takes the moral dilemmas, it takes in many ways the spiritual issues involved in all of this and brings them out. Now, yes, you do get extraordinary Formula One footage. You get the stuff with the camera mounted over the driver's shoulders. You get the most appalling crashes. You get really hair-raising footage of these cars tearing around tracks at breakneck speed that are genuinely quite terrifying, but they are not the most exciting part of the film. What's most exciting about it is the way in which it looks at people who have to some extent looked into the abyss, particularly Senna himself, who constantly describes his work on the track as being something spiritual, something metaphysical, something inspired by and, in his mind, powered by a relationship with God, the Almighty, the hereafter, whatever. There was an energy, a force, a spirit. It was electrifying. More and more, I think that just like a great music documentary should enthrall you even if you care nothing about the band, a brilliant sports documentary should make you think about questions of people, personality, religion, ethics, even if you don't care about the sport. I don't really want to ever see a motorcycle race, I don't ever want to see a Formula One race, but both TT3D Closer to the Edge and Senna are essential viewing this year. Come to the Radio 5 show between two and four. This week we've got the director of Senna on, let us know if you've got any questions for him.